the 176th Canfield Fair just wrapped up, but you have five more days to make it to one of the Valley's most popular events. Yeah, and thousands of people already stopped by the fair for all the fun. Now, while all the favorites are back again this year, there's plenty to check out that's new to 2022. It's the best six days of summer that's well known throughout the entire state. The 176th Canfield Fair is kicking off in full swing with endless food and ride vendors, animal displays, and a jam-packed schedule of performers. We're on the news! Growing up, we always made a point to come to the fair. We had oh, some absolutely. of our favorites today, that's so We walked for sure. around for about three hours, scoping everything out, and then we indulged. While you can expect the classics we all love, there's plenty new this year for the kiddos. From a new cooking challenge to a new electric school bus and race car exhibit, kids won't be bored if they stop by this year's fair. After taking a two-year hiatus, you can check out Old McDonald's Farm again with plenty of animals to interact with and also educational opportunities. Of course, animals draw us all together uh, with nature and the kids just love them. And they have some very interesting animals. We do have a few babies in here. We have some baby pygmy goats. Here's a glimpse of 21 WFMJ's tent that opens bright and early Thursday morning. We'll be here all weekend long saying hi to you. And if you stop by, you can grab some free 21 WFMJ items. Also, Agricultural Day is new with a day of old-fashioned fun on Friday. And agricultural is very big in Ohio. It's one of our number one industries in the state. So we're just putting this together so that everybody can have fun. Can't beat the Campfield Fair. Definitely Thank worth you. the drive in. To wrap up the fair next week, this year's headlining performers include Sam Hunt and John Fogarty. You can still grab tickets online. Just head to our 21 News app for those links. And it was a great first.